Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in this particular chapter, guys, that we are going to talk about that is EnumSec, which is a very specialized implementation of the set interface. And uh, it's very fast as compared to hash set because EnumSet is, uh, I would say, not a synchronized and uh, it works very fast, gives a very good performance, almost uh, of one of the I mean or I would say the constant time performance it gives and it's uh, it works on the enumeration in, in Java that any enumeration kind of object is available and uh, you can create the set with the help of enums and uh, you can do that I mean you can uh, access the value and you can perform multiple uh, various operations on that so let's see how exactly it works very interesting and uh, uh, very easy as well we will see various examples so first of all, let's see, this is my class that I have uh, created and then I will write some basic notes uh, for you guys that for enum. The first thing is that uh, as we've already seen, people might ask you enum set is um, extending abstract set and implementing set interface so that I don't need to write and uh, it is not synchronized, I would say. That's why the performance is very fast and uh, I would say it's um, highly performance okay okay because it's not a synchronized and it it's actually faster than i would say faster than hash set that we have already seen that in our previous video okay and uh, why it is faster than because all the methods in enum set are implemented using bitwise arithmetic operations so i would say all the methods are implemented using bitwise arithmetic operations right hence it's very fast and all the basic operations <clears throat> in enum set which is executed within constant time so very good performance you will get it okay so bitwise arithmetic operations are quite fast as compared to normal arithmetic operations Anyways, so let's see. These are the basic uh, nodes that we have created. This is synchronized, not synchronized, and uh, let's see how exactly it works. So to create and to use this, guys, what I'm going to do that I'm going to create one enum over here. So let's see. After this particular class, we know that okay, yeah, this is the enum keyword, and let's say I'm going to create a class a method over here. Um, let's see. I'm just going to create a method of a programming language by so simple write lang over here, like that. Okay, and then you write some languages, let's see Java, comma, then you can write, uh, let's see C sharp, put a comma, and all let's see, I would say C sharp over here like that. And then I'm going to write JavaScript. Okay, I'm, I'm writing in capital letter, that is up to you. You can write in a small letter also, and I'm writing, let's see, Python, and uh, one more language, let's see, I'm writing Ruby, right? So these are the languages I have added in this particular enum, okay? And the language uh, enum name is lang over here. Now, what I'm gonna do that I'm going to create one enum set over here. So how will you create? Simple, right? Enum set dot, one method is there, off method is there. So enum set of, uh, sorry, dot all off method is there. And what type of enum type? My enum type is lang type that you have written over here lang dot class and it will give you what all of method is giving you enum set of language type so what i'm going to do i simply write enum set of whatever the lang enum type i would say lang enum type and let's see this is my langs is equal to like that okay let's see you can write it like this Okay, that's it. And then system dot out of print ln. I'm printing langs over here. So let's see what happens. So now you can see that, okay, I'm able to access Java, C sharp, JavaScript, Python, and Ruby. It means I'm creating one set over here, enum set, with the help of this particular enumeration that is called enum, <coughs> right? So you can create all of method. By using all of method, you can do that. Then how to create uh, empty enum? Can we do that? Yes, of course we can do that. So I simply write enum set dot none of method is there. And uh, whatever the enum name, 
<coughs> lang dot class <coughs> and then i'm going to create let's see this is returning let's see l over here right and then i'm going to print system dot on print ln l over here so this will create none of means i don't want any I don't want any elements from this particular enum and then you run it so you will get blank over here so you are getting a blank enum set over here so this is how we can create an empty enum set okay so this is i would say empty enum set we can create that and this is created a new enum set using enum right like that so next see what else we have we have one more method that is called range method guys so you can pass the range from the specific element let's see from even element to the specific element so how exactly range method works so let's see i'm going to create this enum set once again enum set dot range method is there dot a range and you pass that okay i want lang dot let's see i want lang dot java so you can access all the elements from this particular lang enum two i want that uh, let's see a uh, lang dot python that's it so this method will return what this method will return one more enum set of lang over here so let's see i simply write enum range is equal to this and i'm going to print this enum range enum range so in this particular enum range set you will get from java to python only it will not include ruby so let's see so here you can see that okay java t sharp javascript and python and if you really want okay no i just want from till javascript only from java to javascript you can simply get it you can see java c sharp and javascript that's it so within a range also you can uh, create a new enum set over there then we can create an enum set using uh, which contains the specific uh, elements by using off method so we have one more method that is called off method how exactly it works off method i simply write that is my enum set dot off method you can see that and here i can say that uh, i just want to create the enum dot lang dot let's see with the c sharp so can i say that okay yeah i have created um you know enum set with c sharp only so i can store in a new enum set and then i giving i'm giving a name that okay they see this is my uh, c sharp enum is equal to this and then i'm going to print it sorry i simply write system dot out print ln so specific uh, on the basis of a specific uh, element also you can do that so off method you have to do that if you really want to include all the elements then you have to use all of method over here right so let's see it's creating a new enum set with the c sharp only so the c sharp only got created over here like that okay now what if i want to create let's see one more enum set like that so let's see this is my uh, multiple enum is equal to i want that uh, from java I simply say language java and lang dot we i want one more value let's see ruby this time and then i'm going to create with two values it means i'm going to create enum set with multiple values not the range so let's see so the new enum set will be created with java and ruby like that but if you're writing all of lang dot class enum set will be created with all the values all these five values over here fine so this is about the off method then we have a uh, guys uh, uh, add and add all method is also there so let's see how to do that so i'm talking about add and add all methods so let's see i'm going to create the full enum okay let's see i'm just writing something like this let's see uh, i simply write lang one over here with lang dot class okay with the help of this complete enum over here then i'm creating one blank empty enum so i'm going to create one empty enum over here so let's see this is my lang uh, i would say lang 2 okay 
So none of method I'll be using. So blank enum will be created over here. Then what I'm doing is I'll be using add method. Okay, on this particular lang two. So I simply write lang two dot add, and then I'm going to create. Let's say I'm, I want to fill one value over here. So I simply write. Uh, let's see lang dot. I'm adding let's see JavaScript over here. Right. So in lang two, which value got added? JavaScript got added. In lang one, all the values got added. Right. So initially it was a blank enum. Then I've added one more value over here. So you can do like this as well. So here I'm using add method. Then what I'm doing is in the lang two, I'm using add all method like that. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to add all the elements from lang one. That also I can do that. And then I'm going to print system dot dot print ln print lang two. So I'll repeat what exactly I've done. Very simple, guys. That lang one is full of enums, all these five values. Lang two is a blank enum. Then I'm adding one JavaScript only. Then lang two, I'm adding all the values from lang one, like that. And then <clears throat> I'm printing lang number two. So let's see. So here you can see that okay, Java, C sharp, JavaScript, Python, and Ruby got added in lang two. Earlier lang two at line number thirty nine, it was blank. So like this also you can do that, right? So um, let's see this lang. Okay, next method. Let's talk about uh, how will you iterate, right? So how to iterate enum set. So you can use iterator. So let's see how to use that. So again, I'm going to create one more uh, enum over here. Let's see. This is my um i would say full lang over here whatever the name you want to give you can give any name i'm using all of lang dot class it means all these values from this particular enum will be added over there and then in this particular full lang what i'm going to do i'm going to apply one iterator over here so you simply write iterator which will return what this will return iterator of what what type of values you have we have lang type of values and I simply write it is equal to this and iterator you have to import from java.util package like that. Then I'm going to write one while loop over here. I simply write id dot has next and that's it. I simply write system dot out of print ln id dot next over here. Right and uh, let's see how exactly it is printing or not. So now you can see that okay, it's printing Java, C sharp, JavaScript, Ruby, and Python. Right. I'll do one thing. Let's print in a different format. I simply write print and system dot other. Remove print ln and I'll simply write that print with comma like that. So now you can see that it's printing Java, C sharp, JavaScript, Python, and Ruby like that. Okay. So you can use iterator also guys you can do that if you really want to remove a value from the so how to use remove method so remove all this okay uh, you can remove a specific element or you can remove all the elements also so i'm talking about remove and remove all both so let's see so um what I'm going to do that I'm going to create one more enum. So let's see this full. Okay, let's take this enum only full lang, and I'm going to print it. Well, let's create new more. Okay, let's see this is a new lang enum that I have created, and I'm going to print it on the console that system dot out of print ln here, and uh, here you see that okay I'm getting a new lang printed over here, but it's printed with the same line. So what I'm going to do that let me write ln over here. And let's run it again. So here you can see that a new <clears throat> lang elements getting printed. Now I'm going to use remove method. So I simply write that whatever the new lang that I have created, I want to remove a specific element. So I simply write dot remove method, and then uh, I simply write lang dot which value you want to remove. So let's say I want to remove C sharp from here. Okay. So if it is got removed, it's giving you boolean. So I'm going to store in a boolean variable, let's see boolean b, 
is equal to this right and uh, i simple write that system dot out print ln b so if it is removed it will give you true otherwise it will give you false simple now i'm going to print this new lang once again and let's see what happens so in the new line you can see that <clears throat> c sharp got deleted perfect like that now then i want to remove uh, all the elements from the enum set and how do you do that i simply write new lang dot remove all new lang only okay so new lang remove all the elements from new lang only not lang sorry and then i'm going to print this particular b1 if all the values got removed let's see yeah true and let's try to print new lang once again and then let's see now it's giving a blank enum set awesome right so remove all method you have to pass new lang remove all the variables all the elements from new lang only so instead of lang we have to pass new lang the same same enum set name you have to write it over that it over here if it is removed it will return true or false and then you can print just to verify that that's why it's giving a blank over here simple so these are the things guys uh, are available and uh, you can try and then simple very very simple but important for interview point of view and you can use in your uh, somewhere in your design in your framework also so this is about the enum set in the set hierarchy like that very interesting chapter and very very simple chapter in the next chapter i'll tell you what is uh, linked hash set and the tree set till then take care thank you so much for watching this particular video if you like this particular series guys please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues thank you so much guys